Good morning. How is everybody? It's smoothie time. I went and got all the stuff this morning for the, make sure I had everything for the smoothies. But first I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna tell you guys why I, I created this smoothie. Um, this July will be nine years that I had a, a really bad horse accident. Um, and I, you know, I grew up on a ranch. I rode horses. Well, my dad was a rancher and I, I mean, I just grew up on a horse. If you could, if anybody could not find me, just, I would be out somewhere on a horse. And throughout the years, I, I had a few little accidents here and there, but nothing major. Well, and this is just what I'm going to say today about how good God is and how he will work in our lives and his will will be done one way or another. And I, I've never enjoyed going to the doctor. I know not many people do, but like I had to really just be totally down and out before I would go to the doctor. So, and God knew this. So, like I said, it was nine years ago, July, dead of summer. I had just worked a church camp in the arena with kids and horses. So, I mean, yes, I was tired. I was, that, that's about the only symptom I can tell you guys I had was I, I was tired. Well, I'm, one evening we're out here and I'm, I'm riding my horse out through the pasture and we're not running full speed, but we're kind of, you know, galloping, um, and it was our family horse, you know, nothing. He he would buck every now and again if he was fresh, but that was about it. Well, all of a sudden, he went this way and I went this way. And every bit of my weight landed on my right hip. Like I didn't have a scratch anywhere on my body. And so I went to get up and I couldn't get up. And my five-year-old son was up here watching. He, my husband was out here. Thank goodness my husband was home because I don't know what I would have done. But, um, so long story short, I'm going to make this short as possible. We go to the hospital, get there around seven o'clock one night. They start doing all my blood work, you know, and they discover that my potassium level was 1.9. And your the range is 3.5 to 5. 3.5 is considered low, but mine was 1.9. So I laid in a hospital bed all that night and all the next day while they gave me, they had to get my level up, my potassium level up so they could do surgery on me. My hip was broke, busted up. My hip, my uh, pelvic was broken two places. My right leg was pushed up into my hip socket. So, and while I was laying in bed, I could not have any water. And that's all I wanted, obviously. I mean, obviously I wasn't hungry or anything, but I was so thirsty. And, you know, they would let you have a little sponge wet with water. And that was it. That's all I could have. So the next night, uh, all night in bed, next day, and the, so they're finally going to start my surgery. And it was around, I think around six o'clock the next evening. Well, a big storm came through this town and all the electricity was out. Now, this is the first time I've ever had any kind of surgery. And I'm going into surgery with a storm coming and all the electricity was out in town. But do you know what? I didn't care. I was, I was so ready to just get it done. But anyway, they discovered that that's how they discovered my potassium was low. And I had, so I had two specialists telling me, asking me all these questions about all the, did you have this symptom, this symptom, and, and I didn't. And they, they, two of them told me that another week and I probably wouldn't have been here. So all that being said to say that God will always get his way in our lives. And he had to use a tragic accident to get that done, to save my life. It saved, it saved my life. So anyway, long story short, I'm on, I, I take the potassium pills that my doctor gives me, but I wanted to research the foods that have high potassium because our body, our body will absorb it and accept it better. If it's food from God, not man-made, 
So this is where this smoothie came from, but it is also very good for hydration, which is a, you know, part of your potassium, but it's, it's good for your skin. It's good for your hair. It's just, and I add some things to help that out. One, th one being is the, the vital proteins. I've been taking this, well, I, I, for probably two years, cause I had, I got, COVID one year and my hair started falling out a few months later. So I started, I've been taking this ever since. So anyway, we're just going to go, we're going to go over that real quick. And I apologize if my lighting is off. I, I, you know, I'm just trying to get all this worked out, but, and this is the best setup I could get. So I, I, I'm sorry that you can't see all the products, but I'll, I'll show them as I go, but I'm just using my Vitamix. I bought this Vitamix about six years ago, and I've never had to buy a new pitcher. The blade, in, you know, I've heard people say the only thing you would have to do is maybe buy a new pitcher, but mine's fine. I've never. Okay, so the first thing is going to be coconut water. And I use the pressed, anytime you can get organic and cold pressed on stuff like the, you know, coconut water and then the flaxseed, anything like that. Cause when the process they do for cold pressed is, it, it, it helps keep the nutrients instead of heating them all out. So you wanna put your water in first, whatever, you know, whatever, if you decide not to use coconut water cause you're allergic, then whatever liquid you decide, but just put it in first. And I'm sorry, I don't measure anything, but I'm probably using about, half of this and this is a sorry I don't have my 16.9 ounce so you you put that in first and then I use I switch my fruit the the fruit the blueberries I'm gonna use about a cup and it has a hundred and thirty milligrams of potassium and that's another thing uh, I never really knew. The average adult, we, we need about 4,700 milligrams of potassium a day. And if you guys have ever paid attention to how much is actually in food, I bet you there are a lot of people lacking potassium because our food's just, you know, junk food for one thing. I, I do love my junk food, but I've always pretty much liked healthy food as well. Okay, so then the flaxseed meal, this brand is now, and it's organic, cold pressed, and the serving on this is two and a half tablespoons, and the potassium in that is 130 milligrams. So this whole smoothie, roughly, is 2,000 milligrams. So that's, that's at least half of a normal person's not half, but almost. Um, but I try to get around 6,000 milligrams a day. And I've even gotten to the point where I can tell when I, my potassium's getting low because, I mean, you just start to learn the signs. So then of course we're gonna put a banana, but guys, out of everything we're adding, do you know the banana has almost the least amount of potassium? The only reason I put a banana is, well, it, it is some potassium, but it helps the, the smoothie just taste good. And this isn't a very big one, so I might need to add two, but I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Um, and I, you can also use frozen. I do that a lot. I just buy the, I just do the, the frozen banana in the, in this bag, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the rest of this to my smoothie. Okay, and then we're going to do, I do a whole avocado. Now, I want to tell you guys something. If you're looking at this and thinking, I don't like avocado, I promise you, you cannot taste it. I promise. Um, if my husband and my son will drink this smoothie, you know it's good. But you cannot leave the banana out. 
because, and I just mush mine right in there. Just mush it in there. And you can add half of an avocado if you want. I love avocado though. So I just go ahead and get, and, and like I said, it's a, an easy way to get my potassium, but you can't taste it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in my, this is optional. You don't have, I just try to put this in everything. If I make a smoothie, I'll put it in there. If I make my electrolyte water, I'll add it in there. It's just up to you guys. And you can't, this is flavorless too, so. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some pink salt because it'll kind of bring all the flavors together and it's, it's, it's good nutrients, minerals. So then I add a lemon and the lemon helps with the flavor as well. And I, I do one whole lemon. Sometimes I do two lemons. <laughs> mm, guys, I love lemon. I, I'm gonna show y'all how much I love lemon. Hang on. I don't know if y'all can see in here or not, but y'all see this drawer? Can you see all, that's full of lemons and limes in there. And I, if it runs, if it starts to get low, I, I panic, I've got to go to the store. Okay, and then last, we're going to add some organic spinach, fresh spinach. And I go between spinach and kale. It doesn't matter because it, you cannot taste it, I promise. Um, but spinach has a lot of potassium in it. And it's just, I just, and you just top off your, y'all can see how it's just kind of layered up. And then you just top it off with the spinach. And I forgot to get a cup out, but we'll do that in a minute. Okay. Now this is going to get loud for a minute. So you might want to turn the volume down. But, and I'm doing this back. I just put mine in a mason jar. I'm gonna put this in the sink. And you, you know, the way it's so full, you think it's just gonna make an abundant amount, but it's the perfect amount to isn't that so pretty? So anyway, and then you just get you a straw and there you go. It's so good. So anyway, guys, I don't know that, I don't think I left anything out. Like I said, you can switch between blueberries. I do it with strawberries. Sometimes that's good too. And um, it's just full of vitamin C and your antioxidants and omegas and, and potassium. And it's just a good, easy, delicious way to just knock out some of these nutrients for the day. And I don't know if anyone watching is like me and you're low on your potassium, but I, I, uh, it's, a, it's just an easy way to get the potassium. So, and it's, uh, it's a, it was a good, good way to, for me to point out that God is good and God will have his way in our lives, no matter what, no matter what the situation is. He, and he loves y'all. He, guys, he loves you so much. And to hear someone say God loves you, I, I know sometimes that can just be so 
to be honest, not comforting, depending on what you're going through. But if you just accept God into your life and let Him love you and let Him pull you through and get you through the bad times and the good times and the whatever times, He will. And you'll look back. Like, it's been nine years. And I look back and I, I remember at the time... I thought it would never end. I could, I was in bed. I couldn't get out of bed for nine weeks. I had to go to physical therapy. I, you know, they told me if I bust my screws out of my hip, I have three screws in my hip, that it would be a hip replacement. So I had to rely on my family to do every single thing for me. And that was very hard for me because I was always... And still am. I, I, I just wanted to do everything for myself. I'm a care, I take care of people. I was not, it was hard for me to allow them to take care of me. But we all learned something from it. We grew from it and we became closer through it. So I hope you enjoy, enjoyed the smoothie recipe. And if you decide to give it a try, let me know if you like it or not. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.